Hello everyone, so today we're going to be talking about how does the stock market work. Uh, this might seem like too simple of a topic, but I know there's some people out there that really don't understand, and even some people that might think that they understand might not understand it as well as they think, so I wanted to clarify some things that I've, it's made it easier for me to understand, so I just wanted to share that with you guys and see if it helped. Uh, I always hear, hear people say, I don't even know how all that stuff works. When you talk about the stock market, I tell them what I do, and I'm just like, it's really less complicated than people would think or give it credit for. I mean, like, it just takes several days or weeks to, like, digest. Don't give up. Just keep looking it over. Like, watch this video three times. Watch this video five times, and I guarantee you, you'll understand it, and it'll seem, like, just second nature to you. It's really a simple concept. It's just, like, it's, like, how do the gears in the bike work? It's, like, it's, it's not our car. Like, it's really simple. Like, it's just, once you understand the mechanism and how it works, like, it's just, it's, 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 it just makes the world a difference. So just give it a chance, don't give up. Um, anyways, we're gonna start with a share. What is a share? Um, it is your piece of the company. It may be 1% of the company, it might be 0.01% of the company, or it might be 0.0001%. Um, it just depends on how many shares they have. A lot of people overlook this. They don't really look into um, what's called the outstanding shares and potentially the uh, authorized shares. Um, you need to know this because if you have a pie and <laughs> there's a thousand pieces then great yeah one piece is one piece but if you have a pie and there's secretly a million pieces and they just, you just don't know and it's the same price as the one with the thousand pieces you think that you might have the same size pie but you really don't it's a really small piece if there's so many shares and it's not that big of a company so sometimes like that's where penny stocks get a little wonky when they have a billion plus shares it's like ooh, okay how, how much can we be worth here how many can we really be worth a penny like that's getting up there market cap so you know um, you kind of have to be careful, and that's, that's what I mean. But anyways, um, authorized shares is the maximum numbers of shares that a company can issue or sell. So um, let me go right into what an public offering is. I'm sorry if you understand this already. It's an IPO. It's when a company sells its first batch of shares. So I'm going to back up a little bit, and I'm going to try and explain this to people that don't understand what that means. That just goes right over your head, and you're just like, I don't, I, I don't understand what that means. Why are you selling shares? You're always selling shares. A lot of people think that. So... Let's say you and I have a company, and we make uh, we buy a T-shirt printer like thing, and then you run the T-shirt through, and it has the logo on it, whatever you want. We buy one of those, and we buy we buy one of those, and we start doing well, and we buy two, and then we start doing really well, and then we start going in our garage, and we have like four of our friends' garages, and all our friends are working for us every day, and we're at max capacity, churning, them, and we're just pumping them out. So if you're at max output like that. Where do you go from there? And how do you, you, so you probably have to get like a big warehouse or like a big facility to have tons of big machines and like be able to mass produce these, right? And tons of people in there to operate all this because you're already having five, six people work. So you're gonna have a ton of people. You need money. At least you're gonna need like a million dollars, right? You need a million dollars or more probably. Um, maybe less, but that seems like a good amount uh, to start with. So let's say the initial public offering, you're our company. We're gonna take our private company. We don't have any shares. And we're going to take it public and we're going to sell a million shares at a dollar each so when we sell those shares every time this that, that all those million shares that get sold the first time we get all those money the company gets the proceeds that's why they put an issue stock is because when they first sell it and they do an ipo they get all the money so they would get that million dollars and then people trade. So if they trade and trade and trade, it goes up to $50. It doesn't really matter to the company unless the insiders have shares, but you know what I mean. Anyways, that's beside the point. Hopefully that makes sense. Outstanding shares is really the big one that you wanna know. That's the current and actual number of shares the company has issued and sold. I will not buy a stock, particularly a penny stock, 100%. I will not buy it unless I look at those two things, especially that. But the penny stock's kinda tricky because they can dilute and it's, I'm not going to get into that. But anyways, that's another video. Anyways, let's go down to how the stock price actually moves. Everybody doesn't understand. They're like, how does it move? How does it move? Like, it's just all this trading going on. Like, what, what's this going up and down? How does it go up and down? I'm going to try and explain that right here. We're going to go to the order book, also known as level two quotes. You might have heard that term before. Um, these are a little bit harder to come by than like level one, which is just the top bid and the top ask. Um, but anyways, here's level two. This is the order book. So this is the bid side and the ask side. All the buys, all the sells. Think of it like an auction. It's really not that complex. Here's all the buys. These are called market makers. I know they're weird symbols, ARCA, NSBQ. 
EDGX. In my head, I always say ARCA, NASDAQ, and EDGEX. I don't know if you guys do that too. Or I say Phil X and Bass, like I just do that. I'm sure some of you guys do. Um, but anyway, these are all the orders in. So each of these is a person or a machine or an entity or an institution or a hedge fund computer or whatever that wants in on the action and they want to buy or they want to sell. So the bids, these are all buys. So the top bid is at a dollar. Let's say the stock price is at $1 right now. And that's what the current market price is and it's trading at. It's at a buck. So if someone sells at a, at a limit order and they put in a, a, a dollar, they want a dollar for their share, share. This would actually be 100 shares if it was on the NASDAQ, but anyways. If they want a dollar, if they want one dollar, they can sell right into that, and then that will get wiped out because that order has been fulfilled, and then it'll move down to this one. The same thing works in the other direction. So if let's wipe, forget what I just said. We're at a dollar, and then someone buys two hundred shares at a dollar and five cents. That's going to get wiped out because that order gets matched. I'm buying. This person's selling, so that matches up. Boom! Perfect match. Gone. So now the ask is a dollar ten. So now it's going to be a dollar by a dollar ten in that situation. Hopefully that makes sense. The bids, if they get sold into, it moves down. The asks, those are the sell orders. If they get bought into, matching the order opposites, then it moves through the order book and it goes down and down and down. So let's say that like, since each of these are 100, so it'd be 200, 900, 900 plus 1500. Okay, so let's say that like a, someone wanted, came in and bought 2400 shares, 2400 limit order at 115. That would wipe out all those shares, and then we would find out what's next right here, unless there were hidden orders, because we would find out what's next right there, because all of these orders got bought. So there's nothing left, and then you ate what everybody had to offer. That means that the demand is so high that the supply just got wiped out, and it just they just burst through it, so the supply is low. So that means that we're moving down the ass, and the price is moving up. I hope that makes sense to you guys. Um, that's as best as I can explain, as simple as I can make it. Hopefully that... Um, helps you guys rationalize it a little bit. Um, I'm, I don't mean to be insulting. I, I just, I wish someone had said this to me five, six years ago when I was learning, five, seven, whatever. Um, but yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Comment if you have any questions. Uh, I got a ton of videos coming up. I got a big list of video titles that I made about this kind of stuff. So um, I'm gonna get really into, like, I really wanna get into penny stocks and like SEC filings and how to find, I just wanna get into some deep stuff and charting and stuff. Um, so stay tuned, subscribe if you want to see any of that. I'm going to start pumping these videos out at least one day for, for now, um, weekdays at least. Um, so yeah, guys, like this video, comment any videos you guys want to see, any, any questions you have. Um, thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.